Hello and welcome to another episode here on Vanilla FM. We're actually going to start a new series and we're going to take a look at Football Manager 2023. I'm sort of late to the game here because I've been very, very busy since the release of the game. I did start to play the beta, but I never recorded any episodes for that. So um, having played a little bit with the beta, I'm going to start a new save here following all the updates that have been made to Football Manager. And as always, we are going to play Hereford FC. As you can see here from the background, I already tried my beta save with that same team. And in good Vanilla FM tradition, we are going to continue with Hereford. I've made my little manager person there. But I'm just going to start a new save here and we take you through the whole process so you can kind of see what we encounter here. So yeah, we're going to start in the Van Rama North League in England with Hereford. I'm going to go to Advanced Setup so I can show you what I've changed there too. And I am going to add uh, Ireland, Scotland and Wales to the mix, but I'm actually only going to make them view only. Just to... Um... Oh, actually, does that decrease? Oh, that decreases the number of players. So no, I'll go with the playable, even though I'm obviously never going to change jobs. But we'll go ahead and make them playable. Uh, the start date is sort of the earliest start date for England, which is uh, good. I'm going to disable attribute masking because I want to be able to uh, look at all the attributes. That's basically how I like to play the game. I like to um, recruit based on the attributes. And I'm not going to add key staff. I'm going to go ahead and start the game. So I'm playing this game on a first generation MacBook Air M1. Um, so if you want to ever compare the speed and the database um, size and stuff, that's kind of the machine that I've got. It's a fully specced um, MacBook Air M1. <laughs> and the aim for this save is that I will actually not uh, well hopefully not buy any players in the f in ja in the start of the season only buy them in january uh, so i'm going to try and play the game um, with the existing squad so that should make it a little bit more interesting for those of you watching so i'm going to start the game with the existing squad play a few months months like that before i start bringing in my own players so this is my profile uh, Vanilla FM, um, Hereford, I make always make myself pro license and international level so I can um, max out all my attributes. I focus my attributes all in the mental side and I just pick a, a few um, uh, categories for me to become an expert coach in those areas and then I then um, hire different coaches for all the other areas. That means that the coaching I've kind of helped myself to better coaching by doing that. So that's a little trick if you've not thought of that before. So I'm going to use this profile. I'm not going to change anything because I've already tweaked this profile to make it perfect for what I want. And here we are. We are in Hereford. Hereford have today confirmed the appointment of Vanilla FM as the club new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of an inexperienced 32 year old. And she is sure to face plenty of questions when she faces the media. Uh, I'm earning £975 uh, a week, which is really good, actually. And uh, FM will be managing one of our favourite clubs, and the significance of this appointment will certainly not be lost on her, either her or her team's supporters. Okay, let's move on. This is the history of Hereford. Um, fierce rival Shrewsbury. Mm, that's interesting. As far as Fatil's facilities we don't have much to play on um so that's one of the things that i've developed i try to develop over the course of the save is to develop facilities so we can attract better players and so forth this is the current uh, team report so we are thinking about maybe um like a diamond shape for the mid for the midfield or a star shapes for the midfield We'll see, we'll go through it and, and I'll make some decisions based on that. We don't have any major requests. And media, uh, no, I'm actually gonna skip that. I don't like doing media things. 
uh, inter squad friendly also no um, every month there we go so minimize the number of meetings and stuff I'm gonna save it as vanilla FM ta -ta -ta. one of the first things I'm gonna do is actually go over to staff and responsibilities I'm actually gonna max out the staff as well but for now I just want to make sure that I delegate as much as possible. I really don't like um, doing like lots of lots of this aspect. I'm, I'm mainly like a, a transfer sort of manager, so I'm delegating a lot of stuff. Actually, I'll I'll take control over the individual training because I find that one interesting. Uh, yeah, definitely not doing media. That can all be delegated transfers I want to be in control of all of that and contracts um, I want to make sure I get all, all of this back and there we go save that and then scouting um, I can't do anything right now as far as delegation uh, I'll come back to this one and I think that's it. I definitely want to be in control of all of the contracts. There we go. There we go. Okay, right. That's sorted. Now let's go to the inbox, see what the first few messages say. I declined to uh, meet the press. Um, I'll create a tactic in a moment. So this is one of the new features. This is the supporters profile and it shows us uh, the different kinds of supporters that we have. So we have the hardcore supporters, which are supporters that have the most loyal and passionate section of the fan base. Uh, we only have 12% of those. Core supporters represent the average football fan. So we have a lot of those. Family supporters, again, uh, kind of self descriptive this one. Uh, they are temperate and patient, we have a lot of those too. Fair weather, they only support us uh, when we're doing well and they are impatient. We don't have many of those. We don't have any corporate supporters, so corporate supporters are most interested in stadium facilities and club marketability. So those would be like the business people. We don't have any of those. And the casual supporter, 18%, they are less passionate, less passionate and less loyal than the average fan. So we gotta please this sort of family and core. Um, they they make up over fifty percent of our fan base, so that's kind of what what we want, really. Uh, we're gonna accept this because we can't change it anyway. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave those. Next, I'm actually gonna max this out. I always do that. Make, give us a little bit of extra cash, and I think it's probably doable. Um, so, I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna put in some requests to the board, which I know are gonna be rejected, but it kind of just lays the foundation for what I want to do at the club. I want to make sure that I progress in these facilities and everything else quickly so there we go made my three requests for the day now some other features we have is the squad planner now because we don't have a tactic we don't have a squad planner just yet uh, we do have an um, matrix of players so we have um, all our squad here but what I'm gonna look at is the players that we have I'm gonna go to uh, report is probably about right actually so what is our best player at the moment and then order of influence or order of potential comes after and I'm just gonna pick out a tactic based on our best players that we have at the moment based on the best 10 um, I want to I want to say so Dino goalkeeper he is equally both like equally good at all of these so we can go with kind of any sort of goalkeeper uh, arrangement. I'm just taking notes as well as I go along. So, uh, so we got Dino this year. Um, obviously, we'll have another goalkeeper because we always have a backup goalkeeper. And now, next along, we have Aaron. And Aaron, 
according to this, is an excellent target forward. So for our striker, we're going to have a target forward. And we're going to have, a, what's, is it support the best he can do? Yeah, in the support role. Okay, let's go with that. I'm only going to need two of those. Uh, now here we have another player. He can play, apparently his best is as a attacking midfielder in the winger position. He can also play the, in the midfield position. Um, so it can either be attack or support. And you can also do the defensive role as well. So I'm going to have to make a decision here. Um, uh, what about the defensive role? What does that give us? <coughs> okay. Okay, so I'm either going to play him... Okay, I have, I'm not going to... I'll see what, what else the squad has. But it could either be... Um, ba, 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 a midfielder or an attacking midfielder and I'm gonna go with a winger or defensive winger based on basically I want to wait to see what other players are capable of um, and what was the other thing oh yeah I'm just making some notes so I remember why I picked him like that. Okay, cool. I'm only gonna need two of those, whatever they, whoever they are. Uh, right after Kane, we have Jack Evans, and he can play quite well in a lot of places. Annoyingly, so let's have a look at him. Uh, he can play. be easier to make because also I need to think about transfers what would be easier to source uh, if in the future when I want to uh, improve my squad uh, okay that might be quite good I'm just gonna have a look at this one as well I think I'm gonna play him here yeah, as a non non defense non nonsense fullback. Um, okay, right. So I'm gonna need two of those. Jack Evans. Oops. Even though he, it says his his main role would be a, a ball winning midfielder, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so next, Jordan Thompson. Uh, definitely a central defender. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go for a uh, central defender. And we're potentially going to need four of those. Okay, uh, following down, I've uh, got another um, goalkeeper. We don't need to look at him. Uh, Harry, Harry Pinchard. Mazala or attacking midfielder. Okay. Okay, 
it's going to become uh, as of support. So we're going to need them. Midfielder, two of them. And it's going to be a missile on support. Okay. Next, let's look beyond that. Uh, this is another striker, so that's fine. Uh, someone for the right side, I hope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we have the front of attack basically decided. I'm play with two wingers, probably one in the attacking role and the other one in the defensive role. Um. Okay. Uh, we've got Ryan Lloyd. He's going to be another central def midfielder. I think all I'm missing now, so... Okay, I need a couple more. Let's look further. Okay, this is interesting. This might decide that we play uh, a midfield on the left rather than attacking midfield. And we're gonna definitely going to play a winger rather than a defensive winger. So we can utilize this guy, Thierry. Okay, okay, very good. Probably should be writing these things down as well. I probably should be writing their names. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I can't remember what this guy was. Left, so you're gonna have uh, Jack Evans on the left side of the fence, Thompson, Summers, Kane, Thompson, Summers, uh, Jordan Thompson, he was um, defensive mid, uh, defender. Jordan Thompson. Uh, we have Dale, which is one of the midfielders. Dale Eve. Oh no, he's not. He's a goalkeeper. Never mind. There we go. Dale Eve. Harry. Pinchard. Uh, after him, it was another striker. So we had Aaron initially. And we're going to have Tyrone Barnett. Okay, I'm going down to Miley Stores, Miley's story. Mild story, I mean, uh, Ryan Lloyd, Ryan Lloyd, uh, Thierry, Thierry Fairweather, uh, Brad Wade. Okay, so Brad Wade's a third goalkeeper. We'll probably don't need him. Let me just remove him. I'm going to move him for now for the end of 18s. And then I'll decide what to do with him later. Uh, we've got another player for the right. And it looks like he wants to play as a winger as well, which is great. Ryan McLean. Ryan McLean. Uh, we have another central uh, defender uh, who can play what we've asked, which is nice. Okay, so he can he can join join Jordan Thompson in central defence. 
So Luke Gaines. Can play other positions as well, which is nice. Um Jack Holmes, now he could potentially be mm, no. Okay. Uh we might need to get uh sell him on. Uh, on the right side, finally we have a a player that can play on the right side of the fence. Uh, okay. So Zach. Zach Lily. Uh and Jared, I suppose. Yeah. Also can play that position. Jared Hall uh no uh Jared Hotchkiss. We're probably gonna play them as um no nonsense full backs or full backs defend. Okay. Now in the midfield we got someone else, so let's see. Uh, we're starting to get quite low down in terms of um, quality. Okay, we've got we need two more positions to complete the squad, so uh, we're gonna have some some other type of midfielder, but not Mazala. We'll figure out what that is in a moment. So I'm just gonna put him down as some. Some other midfielder, I'm not sure what yet. Could be potentially a um, defending midfielder as well. Okay. So we've got Jethro Hansen. Just another central defender. That's good. Oren Penley. Uh, okay, now this guy. Oh, this could be interesting. We could play with two strikers, possibly. Um, yeah, why not? That's right. And you could potentially be. Um, let's make this a poacher. Okay, and James Canton. Poachers are quite easy to get, I think. Um, got another central defender or possibly a midfielder. A defensive midfielder. Let's see what else we have. Uh, another poacher. Okay, we're not too far off now. Okay, and another goalkeeper that we don't need. Let's move him. Move him out for now. Need you. We don't need you. And we might need you as to cover up that center defense position. So if I put um, if I put this guy in as a center uh, defender. Centered um, defensive midfielder, 
and now we decide in a moment what position to play for that. Right, let's go and create a tactic. Uh, let's try a direct counter-attack for now. Um, not really what I want, actually. I want something quite similar to the positions we have. Okay. Which one? Okay, that's not too bad. That could actually work quite well. So this could work quite well, route one. I think we're kind of venturing into complex territories here, which we can't really. We don't have the players for. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go with route one for now. And we're gonna go with Sorry, I just knocked the mic. I'm gonna go with this. Am I gonna I'm gonna make some changes. So um root one is that better? Is that better? That might be better actually. Okay. So we're gonna change this one to a poacher. Uh we're going to move this guy up. Leave these as they are. No, actually, um, I'm gonna change this one to the f that. Leave those as they are, uh, and then here I'm gonna move on back. Move on back. Actually. Da -da -da. Yeah, that works. And this one's going to be a Mazzello on support. And then this one. Ball winning midfielder defense. Do we have the players for that? If we do, that'll be fine. Uh, okay. Jan, can Jan do that? Yeah, okay, so we've got a tactic. It's going to look like this. It's a little bit messy, but we're going to go with it and see what happens. So we're going to fill it with some players as well. Um, just so we have some context. Uh, here, I actually want Hotchkiss, Jack Evans, Thompson, and... Um, Haynes and then here we're gonna go with uh, Ryan Lloyd and then uh, this guy okay so that's basically our team um, and then as the season goes on, we are going to improve it a bit by bit. Now, I've taken most of this episode just kind of looking through the players that we had and making a tactic based on that. I'm all, obviously, I'll mess with the um, different settings that we have here. But that's going to be the um, base tactic for starting our save because I wanted to base the save on the players that we had so far. So I'm going to go through the squad, 
maybe clearing out some of the players that we don't need and i'll see you again in the next episode i don't really have like a time frame for the next episode or anything like that uh, life's kind of busy at the moment so it'll just come out when it comes out uh, so make sure you turn on the, the notifications as well so you can receive a bell when and if another episode comes out <laughs> i say if but there'll definitely be one all right thanks so much for watching till the end take care Bye bye